guys and welcome back to my YouTube for another little vlog. We are in my garage for a very good reason. So it's because we have the unit that I am going to attempt to upcycle. Um, I think that she is stunning. Um, I'll give you a little look actually she has a couple of broken handles so these handles haven't got this bit um I wonder actually are these screwed on yes yeah, so I'm probably just gonna try and find some kind of new handle for that um I mean I love the DL I really, really love it. I have faith. I have faith in my ability to prove Glenn wrong that this is going to look amazing. So my plan right now to get started is to give her a good scrub. So I've just got a bucket with some hot water and some fairy liquid and I'm going to give her a good scrub down. Um, she, she smells old. She smells old. Um, so I'm going to give her a good scrub, good wash, um, and then I'll probably leave her dry for a night, and that's probably it for now, and then tomorrow I think I will smother her in the oven cleaner and let the fun begin. Good morning guys, um, where are we going Oaks? Yeah. We're going to get a haircut. Are you going to get a haircut? Yeah. So we take taking Oaks to the barbers because he is long overdue a haircut. He looks like a tiny little mop back there. Um, we have came to Todd's top, 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 Todd's Chop Shop, which is in South Shields. It's about a 20 minute drive for us and it is so worth the journey. Oh, I'll come and get you out. Can you see yourself? Is that you? Oh my god, you look so cool! What is it? You're Oh, that's better. Oh god. Are you going to go home and show daddy you need not your bits? Oh, you look yeah, better it? already. Oh, yeah. oh, have you got a mess? Where's the brush? Brush them off. Look at this mess. Love, love, love fruit juice. Let's have a look. Is he gorgeous? Take a look at it. Is it always supposed to do that on three? Oh, it's on two. Are you handsome? <laughs> do you look handsome? Do you look handsome? Oaks? Do you look handsome? Brush your walks up. Come on. <laughs> Brush your walks are you going to sweep you, over yeah, it? Yeah, I love sweeping. Do you want to sweep? Do you want to sweep? Are you going to brush? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to brush? Get them? Yep, yeah, I'm not a performing monkey. <laughs> I will not. Nah. So we are home from Orcs' haircut. Do you want to show everyone how handsome you look? Wow. Don't you look so handsome? Um, we were going to go to soft play, but Oaks poured juice all over himself in the car. So we've came home. We are going to have some lunch soon and then just going to see where the afternoon takes us. Um, if the weather stays okay, I might take everyone for a walk, um, but it has been raining. Um... So yeah, that's, that's me. Um, what I was going to say is the 
barber shop that I've just been to, Todd's Chop Shop. I've been taking oaks there for I can't remember when I started taking them, but it's been it's been a good while now, and it took us a while to find a good barber for him. Um, and like you'll have seen when we were there, Sarah is so so good with him. He sits no bother. Um, the shop itself is like really quirky and there's just so much for Oaks to look at that he loves being in there. Um, I did take him to a few other barbers before I started taking him there and I'm not even being dramatic when I say that I cried twice. Two separate occasions I cried at the state of his hair after. I think it's so hard to find barbers that don't butcher baby's hair. I know he's not a baby anymore, but um, it is just, it's hard to find someone that does a good haircut on a small human. Um, and Oaks needs haircuts like every three to four weeks because he's got so much hair and it just grows straight forward into his eyes. Like you can't even like push it to a side. It just comes right down here. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to recommend Sarah at Todd's Chop, Todd's, I can't even say it, Todd's Chop Shop in South Shields. So if you are in the Northeast, even if it's a little bit of a travel, it is worth it um, to not be reduced to tears at the state of your child's hair. Good morning, guys. I am at work in the clinic. For those of you who don't know, I work in an aesthetics clinic i manage the clinic and i also do um, facial treatments and i've came in a little bit early today because i thought i'm gonna treat myself to a little facial i mean it's not the same when you do it to yourself but i'm gonna do it anyway so i thought i may as well film it but i also just wanted to quickly show you the view I am so, so lucky to work here and you will understand why in a second. Just look at that view. Look at that view. So yeah, how stunning is that? We are based in Seagham, which is Gloucester's County Durham, but it is extremely close to Sunderland where I live. It is like a five minute drive um got myself a coffee from the cute little cafe downstairs and what i'm going to do with myself right now is i am going to do some radio frequency all over my face very good for boosting collagen very good for tightening skin i am a bit conscious of this line on my neck at the minute um so you know we're going to tighten we're going to brighten and then I am going to microneedle with the Dermapen. Again, very good for tightening, brightening, getting rid of any marks, even an out skin tone. It's good for a lot. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, I first of all need to turn my machines on pop some wonderful gel all over my face i've been doing facials now for god i think it's been four years um has it been four years yeah so i do obviously radial frequency micro needling i do the hydrofacial um i do just dermaplaning and i really really enjoy it this is just like my kind of little side gig sorry i am having to use the viewfinder as a mirror because i haven't got a mirror well i've got that mirror behind us but obviously it's in the wrong place i had nowhere to set up the camera so yeah four years of facials i absolutely love it i do them maybe like once or twice a week like one or two days a week um if i can because obviously i do everything else for the clinic as well like i run all the website booting system like all the customer inquiries like when all the girls work etc etc um it's fun very fun 
fun. So, we have a lovely little radio frequency thing. So I'm going to use this and we are going to just get a lovely movement going and heat up the skin. This takes the skin to... I can't remember the temperature that it takes the skin to, but it gets the skin quite hot, you know. Um, and it feels incredible. I'll not film the whole thing because I am going to do this for about 20 minutes and I feel like you might get a little bit bored. Um, but I'll come back and show you how red my face is um, before I start with the microneedling. Obviously the microneedling is the fun part. Um, it's not painful. It can be a little bit sore on the forehead. Um, but yeah. Oh god, honestly, this feels just so lovely and warm. I don't know if you can see that the skin's getting a bit red now. I can't really tell because I'm sat in front of the window, so like the natural light is like right in my eyes. Um so I can't see very well. But yeah, I'll come back when I do the microneedling. The microneedling itself literally takes like four minutes. Um but I'll come back and show you where we are at before I start doing that. Okay, so that is the radio frequency part done. You should be able to see how red my skin looks. I am just gonna get everything, all the product off my face with some clinical cleanser. And then we are gonna begin the microneedling. It's just been lovely because obviously I'm sitting in a spot where it is just so nice for people watching. Like obviously the view that I've just shown you. See everyone out for a lovely stroll, walking their dogs. So RES is one that is good for ageing and scarring. Obviously I don't have a lot of scarring anymore but I do still have some marks where I've had acne. So I just want to be more even. I am going to put gloves on for this part. We have needles. Um, I won't film the whole thing because I don't want to bore you. But this is the Derma Pen 4. This is absolutely brilliant. Basically what it does is create hundreds of little micro channels in your skin which means that this gets right in there to work helps to tighten, helps to brighten, can get rid of acne, help with rosacea, can help with melasma, any kind of pigmentation. It is an incredible treatment if you want results. So, I'm gonna pop some of this on the back of my hand and then I am gonna pop. So this helps the needles to glide. Yeah, I'm going to need all that in. Sounds a lot scarier than it is. I'm actually going to have to use the camera in my phone. skin will just go very pink. You don't need to make the skin bleed. Like you can feel it a bit more on the forehead because obviously you're bony. Still not painful though. Obviously I have only got it on a like a low setting. You can have it on a higher setting for anyone with like quite bad scarring. Right now my hand is going to get in the way of the video when I think. So I might stop recording there. And I'll come back and show you. So I have needled my face and my neck. So just slightly pink 
Now I am going to put a lovely mask on that has been in the fridge so it is going to feel absolutely stunning and then I'm just going to have to knock about with this on for 10 minutes. Oh, I'm going to put this on, it's got a little bit too... This is what I mean about doing facials to yourself, it's just... It's not the same, it's nowhere near as relaxing. I mean, a microneedling facial isn't the most relaxing anyway, but I do try and make it a nice experience. Where's my bloody ear thing gone? Right. Right, you see that ear thing? I'm gonna put it around my ears, I'm gonna look a little bit mental. Where is the other one? So, sorry about that, my battery died. Um, but here we are, we're back in business. Um, and I'm just gonna knock about like this for about the next 15 minutes until my first client of the day turns up. Um, so yeah, I will show you what my skin looks like after, but skin never looks fantastic after a micro needle and facial obviously you've had slight trauma but i'll show you anyway so this is what my skin looks like now i'm pink very pink but this will soon look stunning anyway i am finished work now and i'm going to walk to wilkinson's to get a paint brush because i am going to attempt to start the upcycle of the unit properly um, because I haven't had a chance because the weather's been rubbish or Glenn's been at work. So, yeah. so I am back. You can see how red my neck is. Um, I do have, I mean, I've got redness everywhere to be honest. Obviously, I have needled my face. So this is completely normal and hopefully it'll have gone down by tomorrow i do have quite a sensitive neck though so knowing my look i might look like this for the next couple of days anyway this evening i have just put oaks to bed when i tell you right that this last week or the last few days have been the hardest days I have had so far parenting like I'm not exaggerating I don't know if it's terrible twos obviously Oaks is going to be two this month um or I he's been full of cold and I do think his very back teeth are coming through so I think just like a mixture of everything um He's just been a bit grumpy and very whingy, a lot of crying when things aren't going the way that he would like them to go. There's been a lot of screaming. Um, I took him to his like football. Um, he does football once a week and we ended up leaving like five minutes before the end and we both had a good cry in the car obviously his cry was he was shattered he fell asleep after about 10 minutes in the car my cry i just needed to let it out i just needed to let the crying out um it's not i wasn't frustrated or i don't know it was it was just a lot it was just a lot honestly the last few days it's just it's been a lot that's all i'd say it's been a lot um so if anyone else is experiencing mm. the testing toddler terrible twos mm. i am right here with you and it's hard it's hard so anyway i have just put oaks to bed it's 10 past six mm. that's quite early but he didn't nap today obviously he's not 100% himself, he was absolutely shattered. Um, so he is in bed. I am gonna pour myself, I can't decide if I want a glass of wine or a glass 
of Strongbow Dark Fruits. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go for. I'm tempted to go for the cider. I am tempted to go for the cider. And then I am going to get in the garage and I am going to start the upcycling of the unit because I just haven't really had a chance this week because the weather has been absolutely rubbish and Glenn has been like on day shift on the days that I could no does that make sense so on the days that I could have done it when Glenn was on day shift no when Glenn was off it was raining when Glenn I, what I feel like I'm getting really confused with what I'm saying basically the days where I could have done it because Glenn was off the weather was rubbish and what I was planning to do is pull it onto my driveway so that I could cover it in the oven cleaner and then I would be able to hose it down. I've just got to the point where I think I just want to get it started and I'm not bothered and Glenn's at work right now and I can't pull it about by myself because it's big and it's heavy. So I am just going to attempt to do it in the garage without the hose. Um, so yeah, I am going to get that started any minute now. I'm just going to quickly feed the dogs. I just wanted to capture this absolutely stunning moment of me pouring a can of cider into a wine glass. This screams class. It just screams class. I am so classy. Oh, that is stunning. I am in the garage. I am gonna get started. When I tell you I am fully winging this, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. It could be an absolute disaster, but I'm gonna go for it. I am absolutely going for it. Um, so I have got some Oven Pride oven cleaner and a paintbrush. I'm gonna slap it on. Like, I am going to slap it on. I'm going to leave it for an hour or so. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to, like, kind of wash it off slash sand it off. I got some sanding blocks from Wilkinson's. Honestly, not a clue if this is going to work. Just praying that it's going to. Right. I am putting on... That's the wrong hand. Putting my marigolds on. Fun fact, my mum was once an extra in a TV programme. I can't remember what it was, but she was a woman that was standing, putting a yellow rubber glove on like this and doing this. Can't remember what it was. Don't, I just don't know. Right, anyway, gloves on. I'm going to take the drawers out of this, actually. I thought I might not have been there. Um, I'm going to take the drawers out. Oh, God. Um, I think I mentioned when I first started doing this that it smelled like old. Um, but I've had it in the garage for like a week now. Obviously, it's quite cold and airy in here. I feel like the smell is definitely um, lifted. Right, so marigold's on. Paintbrush. Oven pride. I'm really nervous because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing right. So pushing this down. Right, so that is, I don't know why I just boffed it. Um, I don't know what to do. But, cheers, guys. Do I do all of the inside as well? Or should I just stick to the outside for now? Yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. Right. So, <gasps> am I gonna pour some on? And then do I just watch this just not work at all? I mean, I actually just really don't know what the hell I'm doing. I can't like see what this is gonna do. Obviously I've seen other people doing it and like post reels of it and stuff. 
but like I just still just can't imagine this working. I feel like doing stuff like this is hard work, you know, like even when I washed it last week, my back and everything was killing. Right, so I'm just going to continue doing this and I'm going to slather it everywhere and like try and get in like all the places you can see and then I'll come back and show you the progress. Right, can you see this? So this has took me 10 minutes. Let us turn this around and show you actually. So I have literally just like covered it as best as I can. When I started doing it, I thought, do I just do the top bit to see if it works? And I mean, part of us is say, like, is telling us that maybe I should have, um, because really maybe I should have then turned the unit over and did this bit. I don't know. Again, don't know what I'm doing. I just know that I'm just not going to do the drawers right now. I'm just going to see what happens with this. I mean, I don't know if it's just like wishful thinking, but like, is this bit lightening up slightly? I don't know. My eyes are probably deceiving me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give that an hour. So it's been about an hour and something is definitely happening. But I feel like something is definitely happening at the top because I was able to like really drench the top where I feel like the front and the sides have just kind of dried a little bit. So I feel like what I might have to do is do the top and then get Glenn to help us like put it on its back and then do the front and like just do each side separately. But I'm gonna show you. I've got a, like a scour thing. I've got some just hot water and fairy liquid. See this bit where it's really, really lightened up. So, like, oh wait, like can you see that, how it's really lightening? I feel like I'm going to have to like scrub it off with some force, actually, where did I put this, because I used that before, so this sandy thing, which I think you probably shouldn't get wet, but... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to need to scrub it with that. It's definitely going to lighten up. Right. I am going to attempt to do something with this. I will report back. Right. I feel like something is definitely happening. You can see where it's lightening up. Um, but I don't think I left it on long enough. So, I'm going to leave it on overnight. And then I'm going to come back and wash it in the morning like that is definitely a hundred percent lightening up and I've like hand done it with the thing from Wilkinson's that I showed you that is far too much hard work my mom lent me a electric sander but I feel like that's really old and it's not very good or maybe I just need some new sandpaper for it so maybe I'll get some new rougher sandpaper for that because I feel like doing a unit this size by hand would take me approximately 63 years. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it overnight, see what happens. I just went to start vlogging and then I thought, oh, there's really something going on with my eye. And I mean, as you get closer, what have I even got on my face? Like, I'm sick of apologizing at this point. So, I feel like this vlog has gone on for long enough and I need to wrap it up. What on earth is, oh, it's, um, I've just put Oaks to bed and I put a little bit of like nappy cream um, just behind one of his ears because he had really dry skin. I had nappy cream on my face, um, but I don't really know what is going on with this like little lump of redness there. You know, could be anything. Um, but I'm gonna wrap up this vlog, vlog. But I'll quickly give you an update on the unit. So I have now been attempting to upcycle this unit 
for I think just over a week it's been very slow very slow progress you know I jump in the garage half an hour an hour on a night and I start doing something and then I think fuck this doesn't work and then I come out um, so I'm starting to think that I am going to need to paint it because I did the whole oven cleaner to strip the wood and it just hasn't worked for me the way that I've seen it work for other people. Um, it, it just, it's lightening a tiny bit but not as much as I wanted. So I think I'm going to attempt to continue lightening the top. I've got a Biscoff ice cream by the way. Um, I'm going to continue trying to lighten the top and then I am going to paint the rest. Um, I got some paint. I will show you the paint that I got. Everyone said to get French chick paint, but obviously me being me and being impatient and being just like wanting everything done yesterday. I went into Wilkinson's that didn't have French chick. They had this. So this is what I've gone for because... I wasn't going to wait another day, you know. Oh my God, I've dropped my ice cream. Oh my goodness, the dog nearly got it. Ten set and rule. That is filthy. I don't know how I dare. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to paint the bottom with that. Try and lighten down the top still. I will show you the unit <laughs> in a second. I just really quickly need a wee. So, season them in. So guys, this is where we are at obviously this actually looks lighter in the camera than i feel like it does in real life um i left the oven cleaner on it um far too long which then actually made this peel off which is the moment i realized that this isn't um like solid wood like i thought it was i've ended up pulling it off from here so I'm going to have to try and like sand that a bit more. I mean, I do have, <laughs> excuse the huge mess that I've made. I do have that part of it if I want to try and super glue it back on. Um, so yeah, this is what we're working with. I did um, manage to lighten up the drawers slightly as well. But uh, I feel like I am just going to paint it. Mash, what on earth? Mash! Stop it. Um, so yeah, here is your last look. Hopefully in the next vlog, this will be complete and look completely different. So I am gonna crack on. I'm gonna try and make something happen with this. Um, because you know, Glenn thought that this was a bad idea and I will do absolutely everything in my power to make sure that he was wrong um so yeah thank you for watching you will see more of this unit if glenn hasn't took it to the tip in the next vlog um if you could like subscribe comment everything that would be stunning <laughs>